hello there welcome to a new vlog and uh, you'll know what's probably happening today I won't based on the title because it's a mystery tour day again Sam is bringing myself and Sandra as you can see her around to do stuff I'm pretty sure an escape room will be in this because it just makes sense um, but I wanted to check in and start the vlog before we start doing stuff because I will be surprised, you know? There's Sam. That's cute. So this is our first stop. Um, we did just a little drivey drivey. We're going to Village Inn. We found it on Google. So this. Hey! Fancy help! Yes. Um, so we're going to go in here and get some yums. Breakfast. Even though it is like 12. Whatever. St. Cloud, we're in St. Cloud. We got seats, but look at the pies. I wanna get pies. We might get a pie on the way out. Whoa. Um, so this is the menu. Everything looks amazing. So, <laughs> did we find any favorite? Possibly. Also, look, pies. The window? I want the pies. I would like All the pies. They won't let me <laughs> buy pie. We didn't see you come by. Look at the lemon meringue. Oh, oh my gosh. Stunning lemon supreme. Americana, baby. Americana. We are on our second stop. Also, I, that was like the best breakfast I've had here. Would recommend that village inn. But we're on our second, we're close to second. <gasps> Wild Florida. Oh, we gotta get it. We gotta get it. Drive through safari? How did you know? Can we do the safari? Yeah. Oh. Did I tell you that story? No. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, is, is, there, is there ostriches we can get out that can protect your dress? <laughs> so this is why they won't let you take your rental. Oh. In case, in case uh, like a giraffe just knocked off the window. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not window, a mirror. Oh, a giraffe. <laughs> oh, I really hope they have popcorn we can do ah. together. I don't think so. Yeah, so I, I upgraded to the giraffe feed. I got two feeds for, for five dollars each. Oh, this is so exciting! Oh my god, this is... Yeah, I've never done one. Oh, this is fun! Oh my god, I'm so excited. Do you know what? I'm, now, I'm really excited for everyone to see this, but also me to just experience. I love animals. Ah! Florida content. We, yeah, Sam, I did say Sam had some stuff planned that was not the parks, so... Yeah, stuff to do when you're in Orlando if you don't want to do the parks. Exactly. So wait, so, we so are here's a little guy. Well, window's up with the approach, yeah? Well, beware of us. <laughs> and if she says beware of us, she'll just be me. So here we go. Here's a little hunt. It's um, five, we drive through about five miles per hour. We can open our windows, but we can't touch the animals. Because, you know, they're just they're just chilling and vibing. Oh, this is fun. Oh my God. Sorry, I just saw a lemur. It scared the crap out of Sam. Different than the lemur I saw yet in last week's vlog. But, wow. oh, oh, look at him go. Oh, yeah, this is why you have to uh, go so oh, slowly. There's spring bucks. Wow. Right there. They look like kind of. Wow. Yes. Make him work for it. You got this, Travis. Make him wait for it. Boom. Come on now, see that walk. Bam, bam. So over here, I accidentally messed up those alligators, but I'm just distracted by the deer. Yeah, no, I can't do that. Wow, really I'm just gonna look at the pretty animals. I know, if I try to do that. We, we were trying to do this, and, and we, we're, we're struggling, so we're just gonna enjoy. Wow, he's just like, what's up? Look at the vibes. No thoughts, only vibes. Our, our three girlfriends are still here. There's bees over there. Hello. This is the cutest. There's a group of animals. Look at, look at him. Maybe water buffalo on his face at him. Look at him drinking water. Wow. Look at him wow, with the big horns. horns. They look heavy. Yeah. Eat this type of cow. Morning. Yeah. <laughs> the Yoda lives in there. Yeah. Dagobah. <laughs> Is that Dagobah? Look very Dagobah. I'm gonna go become a, ye a, a Jedi. A Jedi. <laughs> a Yeti. Where is. Yeti. What's that say, Sub? What does that say? Where is Walter? Yeah. Is it's that a giraffe. It's a giraffe. giraffe. Maybe he's in there. Oh, wow. Look at these guys. Having some food. Oh, he's fluffy. 
The white one's fluffy looking. I want to touch them, but I'm not allowed. Oh, good. So there's ostriches here, and they say, please put up your windows. And I know. From, oh, come on. I no, still lock the windows. I know from personal <laughs> experience, they're vicious little clonkers. Because I did one of these when I was uh, a child in France, and uh, <laughs> several of them attacked me. It was very, very funny. It was not funny, it was traumatizing. Really from Ugh. Very big what an ugly an egg. Getting ready to pop to you. Look at yeah, the back of it. It's it looks like a very big uh, hemorrhoid. Ugh. Birds. Look at that guy. Wow. That's a big chicken. Got a big primordial pouch. Primordial. So we just have more cattle over here. I like just watching animals chill and eat. That's nice. Hello, I like your haircut. Hello, I like your beard. <gasps> You're working that fringe. Stunning. Um, I think this bison is giving birth right now. Look at the sinew coming out of the Oh back my of it. god. <laughs> Cause I was like, they're not okay. Oh my gosh. You got it, Mama. You um, got it. They're just doing epic shit. So we left. We left our baby girl. She's over there. She's just gonna, you know, labor. You know, enjoy her labor. Um, more animals. Look at the under the tree. To babies. Why is it like? Oh my God, to babies. Sam. Hi. Overlook. On the flip, like. Hi, babies. It is, but like, why is one of those red? Oh, the Hi! Hi! Here we have the prime su uh, suspects for killing Mufasa. Never forgive them. Never I forgive them. I see them there. Look at them. They know what they did. Look at the zebras! Oh, they're so cute. Apparently, there's zonkeys here. I'd like to see a zonkey. So, there's a VIP tour in front of us. And they're like feeding the lovely animals. So cute. I love this so much. The only thing now is is this animal is 100% going to leave, stay here, um, where we are stuck. But they totally, they're, they totally do whatever they want. We're in their space. Look guys, it's a zebra crossing. <laughs> <laughs> I took the speed I had to take my camera out to make that joke, I swear. <laughs> I feel like someone's watching us. <laughs> so it's slowly starting to rain. There's an animal that needs some water. No, I don't think so. I think they're all gonna go under. Oh, here we go. There's an ant. This part is our tour. Um, wow. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to close this up. It's gonna rain, rain. Wow, look how rainy it suddenly got. That literally went from not to 60. The sound is quite magical though. I love being in a car when it's raining like this. Sandra's enjoying her experience. What can we say? I got a new bike. Yeah, see, that's how you know how bad it is. All the animals have shelter too. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. So um, there's animals walking the road, there's some zebras over here, trust me there's zebras, you can't really see, this is great, I'm we're, we're by, stuck. I'm just going to by, I'm alright, I'll make it hard right, as long as I don't know. get too close to that wood. Okay, we're, we're trying to scoop by this guy. I can't, I can't hurt him. There's a zebra butt. Oh, no, now he moves. Now he moves, because we... Oh yeah. Oh, sorry, the the rain's away. starting to lighten up, so hopefully it lightens up again. You can't see it because it's raining, but the uh, crocodiles are oh. loving life. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, what is that? That's not a crocodile. Really What's mean? that thing on the right? It looks like a frog crocodile. Move your hand so I can I've see. I've never seen a face like that. Oh, it's on your thing. Oh, I like him. He looks great. Yeah, we found fine. them. It's a zonkey and a donkey. <laughs> Look at them. They're amazing. Look at them. Zonkinosaurus. Oh, is it Zonkinosaurus? Yeah. 
Have you been to Primark? <laughs> They're like, no. So it finally stopped raining. Oh, we're in Camel Land. There they are. Do you know when season two of Moon Knight is coming out? He does not. Look at them all in the water. I think they're about to come out, are they? Hold on. Well, as long as it's raining, though, I'll just get wet. Like, Look at them. The Enjoying life. Having a dip in the pool. Same, girlies. Same. Oh, Jesus Christ, there's an emu here and he literally just turned around and said, Oh my god, I'm gonna have to pull up this back in the window. Oh, he's sneaking like a little sneaky. Oh, oh scary. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I'm in a horror movie. <laughs> oh my god! Not today! Oh my god, look at the pig! Look at the pig! Oh, pig. Oh my god. I've never seen a hairy pig. You've never seen a hairy pig? No. Oh, you're the prime child. There's a hairy pig. And there's all the um, deer are in Dagobah, as we have lovingly called it. Wow, this is cute. There's a hairy black pig in there. Hello. A hairy black pig. Come on, lads. Oh, there's an emu up here. I wonder if he's going to give sass. Oh, he's actually very interesting looking. No, he isn't. <laughs> he's like, I heard you. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. So, and what's the difference between a one hump and a two hump cow? One has one hump and one has two oh, hump. No. <laughs> that's correct answer. See, I told you emus cause issues. That poor guy's getting attacked. An emu. There's a pig. We have found the long neck cheetahs. And the stripy horses. So majestic. Wait. Hi! Never seen a giraffe bend like that to eat. They usually just eat from trees. He's chilling. So there's we're nearly the at the end because there's the lemurs are over in, in that magical island. Probably the slots too. Oh my god, that's my dream island. Does anyone know? Do zebras have a fun like collective name, like a piano of zebras or something? Yeah. A piano. Like, like a piano of zebras would be cute, wouldn't it? A key. Maybe. And there's the giraffe again. We can feed him for an extra cause cost and that is what we're doing so <laughs> we're gonna go feed them now oh. hey, hey i checked what a group of zebras are called yes they very dirty it's a harem of zebras a harm a harem. harem what's a harem what's so funny you don't know what a harem is no it's a group of prostitutes oh like in hamilton <laughs> so this is the second part the giraffe feeding we have our wristbands we put them on, and then we're gonna go look at giraffe raffies. Yay! Wow, look at Walter. His name's Walter. What a handsome man. I was talking about you. I was. Look at all the zebras okay. and the giraffe. So that was the end of our experience here, but it was really cute. I think it's $34 per person. Um, so it's done per person, not per car. But it's still, it's very sweet. There's a, a lot of breeding for endangered animals in here as well, which is nice. So we finished there. We're now going to go over to the gator section of that, because that is involved in the gator park, is involved in the price. That her $34. So we're gonna go explore that. I think you can also add on a, like an airboat tour. I don't know how much that is, but I'll link the website down below in case you wanna have a nosy about the experience. It's cute. And here we go into the main Gatorland bit or gator park of Wild Florida. Yeah, let's go look at some gators. Look at the macaws. Hi. They're looking very pretty. There's some drilling going on. Hey, yeah, Bubba. This is where you'll see your slots. Hey. Look at this guy. 
enjoying the weather. Are you on it? Oh my god, so cute! Look at the panther! It's in there. Oh my god, you can't even see. Look at this guy! It's starting to rain! Welcome to the day. Hey, moving. Hey, bud. See you in a while, crocodile. We just heard that noise and was like, what? what is that? It's a crocodile. That sounded like a T-Rex. Wow. Is that real? No. Yeah, his mouth's wide open. Is it? Or Will? Oh, Jack. Yeah. His name's Crusher. Yeah. His name is Crusher. If, if he's on land at the school of time, then that's his way of saying he's not. Ah, he's, he's ready. He's so ready to eat. So we won't be able to see Crusher until 3.45. It is 10 to right now. But we will be coming. Hey, do you want some sand? Sand? Ooh. The show is actually here. There's like um, stadium thingies. But oh my god, there's raccoons. <laughs> Look at him back there, dude. Oh my god, he's perfect. He's absolutely perfect. Look at his teeth. What about that guy in the barrel? <laughs> the guy in the barrel. You can't see because my phone camera keeps focusing on the wrong thing. To showcase the naturalistic jumping behavior of the American alligator and a couple species of crocodile, depending on who shows up. A really quick background on the alligators. A lot of people wonder how many are in this pond and where do they come from, and those are good questions. In this pond in particular, we have 64 American alligators, 10 crocodiles. Every single alligator you see has been alligator through the state of Florida's nuisance alligator program. What does that mean? Long story short, at one point they were living their best life somewhere in Florida, and then usually what happens, a human feeds a wild feeder, they lose their fear of the public approach people, and that is when the state sends out a permit of trapper to catch and remove these nuisance alligators. Now luckily, these are brought here alive because the kicker is the trappers aren't paid by the state of Florida, they're paid by the mean hide of the alligators they remove. So luckily, these are brought here alive. They trim chicken bone and all tomorrow fish, the next day rats. It's always an ever-changing diet depending on the dealt. The long jaw is a big swing and miss there from that American alligator. And right underneath the lung is a big male West African crocodile. He's coming up. His name is Clyde. Clyde's thinking about it. And there goes Clyde. Oh, oh. the teeth. So there is a blind spot directly in front of their nostrils and right behind their eyes. So at mid-jump, they may lose sight of the target in today's case, chicken. And when they open the jaws, they almost create an even bigger blind spot. And here we go. Oh, you guys in the bridge heard those little jaws pop on Leprechaun there, the American alligator. And that bigger one there is Jeremiah. And you will hear us say a lot of their names throughout the show. You probably think there's no way we can discern the difference between them. <laughs> but look at us, the tail tailhead. Hey! Hey! Girl, you need. And you guys did a great job. You all passed. A plus to everybody. Wonder, is that enough for a big gator or crocodile? Do they have to jump to eat? Is this the only time they get fed? Well, believe it or not, all of you actually feed them for me. Since we're open six days a week, ten hours a day, you guys get so much of this crotch out of the pellet diet that you throw in the water. The feeding show, in reality, is just our way of giving them the option and the choice to exercise, use the muscles and the hopes of some extra food. Because since you guys feed them so much, that quantity of food means they're all very spoiled. Hey! Well, Naturally, the American alligators range or extends all the way to Virginia, west to Texas, places where it snows, the ponds freeze over, and they'll go without food for months at a time, waiting for those warm attempts to regulate their bodies. And here we go, Jeremiah setting up like a rocket, and Jeremiah So we just finished. That was super cute. So all of these alligators, in case you're wondering, are nuisance alligators. You might have heard them say it's basically ones that have gone into um, neighborhoods or around people that get taken by the government and they're all here to be rehi rehabilitated or just looked after. But they're super cute. Look, we're like looking like dinosaurs. Don't forget, this is like one of our closest things to dinosaurs. Also, this is Bonnie. I'm not sure if you heard it, but Bonnie has eggs underneath here. So she's nesting and just vibing. Her partner's name is Clyde. 
I love it. There's a big bobcat up there. I'm not sure if it's gonna focus on her or the gratings, but she's snoozing. Her fur looks amazing. Oh my god, look at the little face. Wow. Little face. Oh my god. So, so cute. And then there's Lima's over here. Let's go. I saw him. I know. I know a lemur when I see one. Oh, these things? Yeah. There's a snake. Okay. A slipper snake. Mm. You turn them on bubble. Oh Look at this guy's head. Wow. Got a big chunky body. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's up there. Jump scare. No. Uh, Look at this guy. Oh, he's adorable. Such a beautiful little color for a beautiful little guy. Oh. He's moving around. And look what he wanted this one. Hi! There's a snake moving. Look at the lemurs. They look like they just woke up from their nap, but you know, they're still, they're still waking up. Hi! What's going on? Oh, okay. Look at these guys. Squirrel monkeys. If you've ever been to Dublin Zoo, you know these are little menaces to society. So. Oh, he's ready. Now. He's ready to cause problems. They, they need the giraffe slipper. Hmm. You know he's done some terrible things that poor giraffe slipper. Possibly. He was handsome little guy. He's ready to pose. Hi. Handsome little dude. There's a petting zoo. There's turkeys. I just heard them. And I'm assuming goats and, and, and pigs and stuff. There's pygmies. I see pygmy goats. Hello. Look at them. So cute. Hello. How are you? You're very cute. Yeah. Look at the kangaroos. There's a big turtle over there. Wow. Wow. Some more kangaroos. Chilling around. Having a good time. Having a... Having a fosters. What? What did you call them? Kangaroos. No. Fosters. That's a fucking kangaroo, mate. It's got the turtle, though. It's a type of kangaroo. Aye. It's an ancient turtle. Alright. Whatever. Oh, this is a Kramunde. He just moved. I'm, I, I can't even get him. We big saw a turn. tail and he's dragged. This is what it like. So cute. Uh, I'm back at the raccoons, but look at him. He's cleaning himself. Oh, this is a guy who was asleep earlier. He's up and he's cleaning. Oh, this camera, I swear to God. A little kookaburra. He's looking at me with attitude. These have like that weird laughing noise. This, I swear to God, this camera just hates. There he is. So cute. We are truly living the American experience. Chocolate covered bananas, because there's always money in the... What the fuck was that book? <laughs> no. Ooh, the aesthetic. Phallic. Jumping up out of the water and excited to do the show. So on the count of three, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> no, it does work, but it works best if he knows you add the food. I just had to make sure you guys are paying attention. I do appreciate you. Now, Christian is going to use that same call, and you can see Crusher is moving around. Now, this is one of the reasons alligators and crocodiles have existed on our planet uh, since the age of the dinosaurs, about 65 million years, and have remained more or less to this side of the pond to try to show you guys him a little closer. Now we showed you how that hold command can be used for important things, like if we ever have to do any veterinary procedures with this animal, but we can also use it to do something kind of dumb. So Christian is going to ask him to hold still, and then he is going to offer up the ham to the alligator. <laughs> At this point of the show, I have to remind the kids to stay in school. Don't be like Christian. There you go, nice. I hope I don't need to tell you this, 
but don't walk up to an alligator and try to put something on his face. You ain't your arm ripped off, but you're sitting there styling and a nice food reward. And a nice little job, Bob, there. An exotic amphibian native to parts of Central and South America, but in recent decades they have become an invasive species in certain parts of the world. But simply, they live where they shouldn't, they love to disrupt that local, again, ecosystem as they thrive. They're actually invasive in Australia. They're also invasive now, sadly, in the state of Florida. But keeping it simple leads to question one. What do they eat? And many people would think, oh, he's a toad. He only eats bugs. But with this amphibian in particular, they really eat anything that moves. So they eat bugs and other invertebrates, crustaceans, amphibians, reptiles, even mammals. If they can fit it in their mouth, they use their front forelimbs to kind of shove food in there, meaning they have a wider variety of whole prey. Nickname they give any of those alligators right there when it's their turn to educate the public, all of you guys. Now this, again, is an American alligator, not an exotic animal to me being born and raised in the middle of nowhere, Florida. But if you're visiting from somewhere that doesn't have the American alligator, they may be exotic to you. But keeping it simple leads to the number one question. What do they eat? That's a good one. After they are six feet long and six years old, that's when they're considered an adult or an apex predator at the top of the food chain. And that means they eat everything below them in the food chain. They'll eat a turtle, a snake, a bird. They'll even eat each other. So we just saw the last show of the wild exotic. I didn't show you the first one. The first one was this cute little alligator, not an alligator, it's cute like lizard. It's gonna start raining though, so I think we're gonna end up going to the car. But this is cute, it's a nice little zoo type thing, but with a focus on amphibians and reptiles. I like it. So we're gonna say bye to the macaws and uh, head out. It's cute. See you later, alligator. We're gonna go to our next mystery spot for the day but i think it's going to be what i want to do swamp land it's nice though would recommend it's cute it's cute if you want to do park stuff and do more you know natural natural nature stuff okay so we just did a little bit of shopping in five below and uh ross i didn't bring you in with me because we just kind of got candy for aggressive for you know funsies but we're gonna go to a hot pot place that me and sam went last time when i was here in february and it's very nice but i'll show you it because it's exciting and i've been dreaming about it since i went sam is super excited I have for to try it. so with the ominous sky we're not going to subway we're going to the hot pot you sure subway's nice no we're going here there's a little robot that seats you he's very cute I'm excited. This place is. Nyum, nyum, nyum. I'm in the mood for Robin too. You make your own. Go, go, go! Teenagers looking for where to start a wonderful journey together with you. Let's go. <laughs> He's so cute. Here we are. Here we are. Have a good day. Thank you. So here is the menu. You basically pick a choice of broth and then you get to choose from the conveyor belt what you want and then they also have yummy drinks. I'm gonna get the passion for a green tea is what I got last time because I'm basic. Although the strawberry green tea also looks nice. Where are all the spring rolls? Here because we stole them. Uh, yeah I would cook them a bit. We we're, were just waiting on our thingies. I like to like warm it up but I got some white beach mushrooms because they're funny to say. Lettuce. So our broth has appeared and our drinks and I have just taken all of the dumplings. What are you? Fried taro. I'm gonna go make a sauce and everything now, but yeah, I love this place. I've already this is my this is my to be inserted. <laughs> and here is our aftermath. Our, our me and Sanders are bubbling away because we are full. I'm still going like the hero he is. That's only like a, a tiny, tiny selection of our plates because they've taken all of our plates as we've finished. And these are our sauces. Look who's coming. Oh! Hello. I can't reach it. <laughs> Give him the ice cream. Thank you. 
me, you happy. So we're gonna have some Irish cream to finish it off, and then the last thing we're doing today is an escape room, which we cannot show you, but we'll show you when we're there. This is what we are doing for the evening. We have um, a party of five, so I won't show you inside, because obviously I don't want to ruin the escaping, but I'll let you know how we get on, and then a little talk overview when we're finished. I love escape rooms. I'm so excited for this. This is a good day. Look how cute the, um, the outside is, though. Cute. So we're out and we were successful. We got, we had 13 minutes left to spare. I'll pop the picture here just to prove that we did do it. But it was really fun. If you ever wanna do something fun in the evening, I would highly recommend an escape room. They're always fun. My heart and my adrenaline is going crazy still. But Pedro Pascal will be proud of me for escaping Narco. There's no S because, you know, copyright. But that's the end of the nice surprise. Who knows what today was day. I hope you enjoyed it, it was really fun. I had a great time being outside the parks. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna hang out for more videos, make sure you're subscribed. Our social medias are down below. We're a lot of fun over there too. Um, and that is everything I think that I need to say. Love you and I'll see you on the other side, bye.